Hey, JNM here, and today I will show you my texturing process for multi res sculpting with Blender and Substance Painter. As you saw in the previous parts, I sculpted the straps here for the stylized X by using the multi resolution modifier. It has about 2.6 million vertices in the highest subdivision level. Here you can see the mesh when I change to level 0. And what I will do now is to export two FBX files, one for the high and one for the low poly mesh, which is pretty simple by using the multi res modifier. Before I export, I enable smooth shading and I also press the button apply base. What this does is to modify the base mesh and also add geometry where necessary to match the form of the subdivided mesh. This means we can use the base mesh for texturing and don't have to create a retopo mesh. And this is what I'm going to prove now. So with the object selected, I go to File, Export, FBX. And in the settings, I enable Selected Objects Only. We export the mesh. And this is important on the Geometry tab. I check the option Apply Modifiers. With these settings, I export the High Poly Mesh because the multi res modifier is applied. This takes a while, but I speed it up a bit. And after that, you guessed it, we export the same object, but this time we don't check to apply modifiers and this will export the mesh as a low poly mesh, as the base mesh. And that's it, now we have a high poly and a low poly mesh. And I also haven't UV unwrapped it, because I want to try the automatic UV unwrapping in Substance Painter. Ok, so let's open Substance Painter. Then go to File and select New. And be sure to have the Auto Unwrap feature checked in this dialog. Then press the Select button and select the FBX file for the low poly mesh. That's all we have to do in this dialog, press OK and here you can see the base mesh that we exported and I will open up the 2D view as well so that we can see the result of the automatic UV unwrapping, the UV islands and this looks pretty good. Alright, no retopo mesh created, no manual UV unwrapping, we will see if we can really go with that. Alright, so let's go to the texture set settings and bake the mesh maps. You can also find this here in the edit menu or press Ctrl Shift and B to open it. And we don't need an ID and a thickness map. The size of the texture are set to 2K, I think that's enough for testing this. And then I load the high poly version that we exported here to the high definition meshes. I increase the distances just a bit. It just gave me better baking results. And I also want to have some anti-aliasing and then we can go ahead and bake the mesh maps. Ok, this takes some time, especially the ambient occlusion. Better speed up the video. And here we have it and it looks like a pretty good result. Ok, now let's test it with a real smart material, for instance a stylized leather. I just drag it onto the mesh and have a look at this, that's pretty good. I mean, considering that you don't created a retopo mesh and no manual UV unwrapping, the seams are barely visible. It could be optimized a bit when doing a manual UV unwrapping. But I wanted to test this automatic UV unwrapping feature of Substance Painter. Ok, what's next? We have to do retopo for the other parts, for the handle and the blade. Because these were not created with multi-resolution sculpting, so we don't have a base mesh. I will show the retopo process for this in the next part. Alright, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, then add these here to the comments. Support me on my Patreon, this would be great. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And I see you in the next one here on JNM.